international terrorism. As India and Africa summit entered its second day, External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj on Tuesday called on Africa to join hands with India to put in place a more democratic global governance structure as she demanded the inclusion of India and representatives of Africa in a revamped UN Security Council. Unless we put in place more democratic global governance structures, the more equitable and just international security and development frameworks that are essential for the collective peace and prosperity of this planet will continue to elude us. Speaking at the ministerial meeting of the third India-Africa Forum Summit in New Delhi, Suraj stressed on the need for fighting the menace of terrorism collectively. In view of the fast-growing linkages of such terrorist groups across the globe, we must step up our cooperation. India's focus was on cooperation in various sectors like infrastructure, healthcare and affordable medicine. But one thing that stood out was India's focus on tackling the menace of cross-border terrorism and by non-state actors. Calling for scaling up economic engagement between India and Africa, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley said India and Africa together can become the engines of growth which is critical for reviving the global economy. As the global economy continues to recover slowly from the global financial and economic crisis, India and Africa together may well become the engines of growth for the economic, for the entire world. Later in the day, Sushma Swaraj held separate bilateral meetings with her counterparts from 10 African countries, including Zimbabwe, South Sudan, South Africa, Malawi, Tunisia, Cameroon, Cape Verde, Congo and Ghana. Apart from the foreign ministers meet, the bilateral meetings that Sushma Savraj held with her counterparts from various African countries set the stage and finalized the agenda of the bilateral meetings that Prime Minister Narendra Modi withhold with his counterparts from over 20 countries on Wednesday and the heads of state and heads of government summit slated for Thursday. With Sudan Sibyl and cameraman Anand Prakash, Amrit Pal Singh, DD News, New Delhi. Well, India did